All right, guys, so last weekend I ran out a 50 amp circuit 220 to my garage here. You guys know I moved into this house a year ago and most garages won't have 220. You know, this I've been wanting to do this for a while. However, the way the house is set up is I'd have to go through the basement into an area of my house that was exterior and was converted to interior. So there's a slab and then the crawl space and then finally out to the garage. So that required tearing up a floor section. So that, that you know, you gotta kind of plan that out. Um, we're also doing a lot of home remodeling right now. We're putting in windows and patio sliders and I got sloping floors and whatnot. So it's it was time to just tear stuff out and make this run. And up until now, um, I put an outlet like this right by the, uh, main panel and I ran a 75 foot extension cord out here anytime I wanted to use the compressor or the welder. And that was just a huge pain in the ass because you're dragging it through the house, uh, knocking over the dog's water bowl and then through the kitchen. And then this door here to the garage had to be propped open and all the noise and smells would get in the house. So that was kind of a pain in the ass and it takes 10 minutes to set up and it's just, I just hated it, right? It's easier to just come here and flip a switch, right? So anyway, this is about a 70 foot run. And basically I ran three quarter EMT conduit all the way from the basement, poked it into a slab area. I had to cut open the floor and then right into the garage and so forth. So it took me about two days to do it. Um, not too bad. I ran number six gauge wire out here, which is a little overkill, but that's technically correct for a seven and a half horse compressor. Number six, number eight is a little too small per code. And so number six, I just went that way, okay? And number six can handle up to like 75 amps. All right, but right now I have a 40 amp breaker in the panel and that seems to run my compressor fine. And for what I weld, 40 amps is fine. And, and I'm putting a 40 amp there because that's, I actually had a breaker. So if I wanna go to 50 amps, I just go to the store, get a new breaker, pop it in, fine. But I haven't tripped it yet, so there's no harm in that. So for 220, you need three conductors. I got a, a green for ground and a red and a black, so two hots and a ground. That's all you require for that. Um, and what I have going on here is I have a six by six by four metal junction box here, pull box, splice box, whatever you wanna call it. And I cut a hole in it and put this uh, outlet right here. So behind here, I have like Polaris style taps or connectors for splicing. There are the three position ones. And what I did is I have the power coming in and I spliced it to this outlet, which is hot all the time. And then up here, which goes to the safety disconnect switch on off for the compressor. So the compressor is switched on off through there. Now, technically this is not code. You're supposed to have a dedicated circuit to the compressor and then you're supposed to have another circuit for your outlet or your welder or whatever, right? Well, I thought that would be silly to run two circuits. As long as you're not an idiot and you have the compressor going at the same time and welding at the same time, you're fine. I'm the only one out here and if I need to weld or whatever hooked up to here, I turn the compressor off and then I use that outlet. And again, you can only pull at right now 40 amps, right? Or 50 amps. If, if you pull too much, the, the breaker will trip. So. This was, uh, I just didn't want to run two circuits. That's crazy. You know, uh, one circuit's fine and this powers up everything I need. Um, and I'm like, and for a second there, I was going into overkill mode. I'm like, hey, if this wire is good for 75 amps, why don't I put a 60 amp sub panel out here? I almost turned around to the store and I'm like, screw this, I'm gonna get a, a sub panel, right? But then I'm like, oh man, you need a fourth conductor and in order to run four conductors at eight, uh, six gauge, you gotta go to one inch conduit. Three quarter will handle three number sixes and that's it. So then I turned back around and I came back. I'm like, all right, dude, this is fine for what I need. It's everything I needed to do. 
I can run the seven and a half horse air compressor. The running amps on that's around 32 amps or so, and it runs fine on the 40 amp breaker. They actually recommend a 50 amp, but again, it's working just fine on the 40. And I got my welding outlet. This is perfect, man, because it was a pain in the ass to drag out that extension cord. Um, and what I used is three 25 foot sections. Bought them on Amazon for like 75 bucks each. I'm gonna be selling those now. So anyway, I got this out here. Works great. I'll flip the switch really quick. It's not gonna turn on because it's, but there you go. So that's on, that's off. Um, I went with a big disconnect like this in a big box because number six wire is hard to work with. It's pretty thick, it doesn't bend easy. So I, from experience at my old garage, I wanted uh, boxes that are a little larger and easier to work with the wire. That's that. Um, the cost was probably six, 700 bucks to do this, man. EMT sticks are 10 bucks each. I got 300 feet of wire, which was like $330, you know, 100 foot spools each, and then all miscellaneous stuff. I mean, you're talking, you know, nothing's cheap nowadays, and electrical stuff is definitely not cheap, but, you know, you got to do it, right? So I'm pretty much up and running in this garage uh, pretty well. I got heat and AC out here with a mini split, split air handler. I got outlets. I got a dedicated 20 amp for outlets. I got another circuit for lighting. As you can see, it's pretty bright in here. I'm organized. Um, thinking of what to do as far as the next project in here. Um, but I do have home remodeling going on, a lot of home remodeling going on, and um, we're gonna be doing the kitchen next year. So we're gonna focus on this area over here, the addition, and then over to the, uh, to the kitchen. So it's just gonna be a lot of freaking work. So anyway, um, just wanted to give you guys an update on more power in the garage.